Hey everyone, I'm Upwards and in this video, I'll be reviewing the Novation Launch Key Mini Mac 3 and explaining why I think this is the best mini MIDI keyboard. If you've been following me for a while, you would have noticed that I use this keyboard a lot and for good reason. The Novation Launch Key Mini Mac 3 is the best all-round MIDI keyboard in the mini category. From the pads to the door integration, this keyboard is the best for most people. So let's get into it. First up is the design. This time, Novation has given the Launch Key Mini Mac 3 a refined aesthetic overhaul which makes this look like one of the more premium MIDI keyboards out there, even though it's the same price. We have a more premium feeling black plastic and a more solid and simple chassis. The buttons have been repositioned for convenience and there are small words printed above the knobs and keys for extra control in Ableton. There are two touch sensitive modulation strips for pitch bending and modulation as well as redesigned knobs and pads. Overall, the Launch Key Mini Mark III design is really fresh and aesthetically pleasing. But how does it function? Next, the pads. The pads on the Launch Key Mark III are one of the best, rivaling Akai's MPC pads. They have great sensitivity, response, and a great feel. It's not as stiff as Akai's pads, but not as squishy as the Mark II pads. These are right in the sweet spot and are great for finger drumming. They are a little small unlike Akai's which are about double the size and can take a little time to get used to. But more pads means more samples and more loops to launch which are great for live performances. The pads are also RGB and you can use an Ovation software called Components which is a really great tool for customizing colors, pads and saving presets. You can also change the brightness of the pads which is a really welcome feature. Many people complain about this intensive brightness at stock settings. The 8 knobs on the Launch Key Mini Mark III are quite average. They have a good height and grip but they are unfortunately not endless encoders so you have to reset them to the point it's showing on your door. Keys. The keypad has also been updated. Instead of a weird squish at the bottom of the press, the Mark III goes all the way down with the same amount of feedback, unlike the Mark II. I find this to be a much needed improvement and with the black notes leveled with the white notes, the keys are much easier to play on compared to the Mark II. They also feel a lot lighter which I like and the sensitivity is on point. Modulation strips. Instead of physical wheels, we have two strips that control the pitch pen and modulation functions. Some people hate it, but I actually think this is a really good alternative and it works really well.
build. The Novation Launch Key is a really light keyboard, and its size is perfect for traveling with and for chucking into your backpack. The only thing is that even though the build feels solid, it doesn't exactly sound like it. If you pick it up at the corner or if you bend it a little, you can actually hear it squeak a little, which is a little odd. But after 6 months, the only damage I've had is a little dent in the corner. So I don't think that's anything to be concerned about, and I think it will last a long time, provided you don't purposely try to break it. All the pads and buttons are also rubber, which is really nice. Unlike other controllers which still use plastic buttons that make a really annoying click when you press them. Door integration is by far the best feature of the Novation Launch Key Mark III. With built-in transport controls and very accessible settings and modes, this keyboard is loaded with many features that makes controlling your door very easy and manageable. Even if you don't use Ableton, which is awesome, you can also map all the buttons on the keyboard which is super useful and helpful. On the right, you have the ARP and fixed chord functions, which can also be used to change tracks when you hold down the shift button. Underneath it, you have the play and record button, which are two very important transport control buttons. I still can't believe that Akai MPK Mini still doesn't have these two buttons, which makes Launch Key Mini a better buy in my opinion. On the left is the shift button, which allows for advanced functions and entering different modes. Under that is the transpose button and the octave up and down buttons, which also double as program switchers. In conclusion, the Novation Launch Key Mini Mark III is the best all-rounded mini MIDI keyboard on the market right now. With great pads, keypad, and an intuitive door integration, it does everything you would need from a mini MIDI keyboard and more. Compared to the Akai MPK Mini Mark III, the superior door integration in the Launch Key Mini makes the Akai a slightly worse choice. But if bigger pads and endless encoding knobs are important to you, the Akai MPK Mini is a good choice. But I'm sticking to the Launch Key Mini as the best choice for anyone. So I hope I helped you in this video, and if you're looking for a bigger keyboard, click on this video where I review the Akai MPK 249. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.